I'm Rob Levinsky. I'm the founder and chairman of Kenwood Racing. Uh, and we've been in the business for, wow, almost three decades now since I was 14 years old. And um, I'm really excited about the Taste of Thoroughbred Ownership Program, which we created back in 2009, uh, to give people a chance to be a part of this industry in a unique, fun way uh, for a very, very modest one-time cost. There are many things about thoroughbred racing that's great. It's been a passion of mine my whole life. Um, but to me, what makes it stand out among other sports is that you can put, be an owner instead of a spectator. You can actually own a piece of a racehorse uh, as opposed to just watching a sports event. For the price of season tickets to a football or a basketball game, you can be a participant. There are a lot of racing groups out there. Um, you can pick and you can be part of a, you can be a minuscule partner in a huge conglomerate of racing um, associations or syndicates as uh, many of them are called. But this is more of a personal touch. I mean, you are invited in as a family member. This is the structure we came up with. It took some planning and some thinking and going over with accountants and attorneys and trying to keep it reasonably straightforward and simple. And finally what we came up with that really I think is great is we package two to four horses together and we sell typically a 5% interest in that package, not in individual horses. What makes the package stand out um, is, first of all, there are no markups and there are no fees. Um, the co-owners buy into the horses that Kenwood already owns at the price we paid for them. And you get 5% of everything. That means 5% of the purses, the owner's awards, the breeder's awards, and the expenses. But unlike a typical syndicate, there are no payments, there are no bills, there are no extras. You put up that one-time payment and then when the horses are retired, when the last horse has been sold uh, or run and retired to a safe home, that's when the accounting is settled up. And at that point, uh, you receive whatever your share is worth, but you can never contribute more than what you put into it initially. Most syndicates start by um, syndicating, putting together a package in one horse at a time. And what they typically do is they'll take a horse and say they'll buy one horse for $50,000. And they'll mark it up. They'll sell 10 interests at 10000 a piece. It's a guaranteed profit for them. And in that case, they don't have to be too picky about what they buy. I mean, they want the horse to win, but they're out of it at that point. Taste of Thoroughbred Ownership is a really different program. It's not a syndication. What we do is, first of all, Kenwood doesn't mark up horses at any point. And the other part of it is that we have our own money in each horse that we have recommended to our clients and made part of the program. The majority owner is Kenwood because we love the business and the first and foremost, we're owners ourselves. By owning these horses ourselves and having money in them, we're picky about what we buy. We're buying the horses we really love and want to put our own money into. We work different than syndicates. We package a group of horses together even though it's a lot less convenient for us because we think that in what's frankly a high-risk business you get more fun, more diversification and a little less risk by owning two, three, four horses as opposed to a single horse. So that's the whole goal and that's why we put it together that way. Basically to give the co-owners, the uh, people in the Taste of Hell Ownership Program a little more action, a little more fun and hopefully less risk. There are easier ways to make money in business than thoroughbred racing. Now, we run it as a business. This is a business for us. So our goal is to make a profit, and we've been very successful. But what we say to people in a program like Taste of Thoroughbred Ownership is that the main goal is entertainment. You should be doing this first and foremost because you really are going to have a good time. It's like having season tickets to uh, a football or a basketball team, except here there is a chance to make money, but that shouldn't be the primary goal. The primary goal should be entertainment. The way I look at it, if first and foremost you're in there for fun, no matter what, you've come out a winner. We manage the horses under an agreement and what that does is, it's, we try to keep it simple and plain, plain English. Um, it's not maybe our attorney's favorite thing, but we want it to be readable and understandable. And basically, we take care of all the training, uh, the day-to-day -day care, hiring trainers and riders. We put together a document that people can read and understand, and basically we call the shots. If you're looking for something where you're going to be the hands-on person and you're going to make the decisions, definitely this isn't for you. 
The thing that stands out about being involved in Taste of Thoroughbred Ownership is the people you meet, the shared experience you have with others. A lot of our co-owners have talked about how it becomes sort of like a big family. Um, that sounds like a cliche, but there's really this incredible camaraderie that you develop based around the shared experience of owning thoroughbred racehorses. Then beyond that, of course, there's incredible prestige and perks and fun when you're a thoroughbred owner. There is nothing like sitting at a racetrack, a beautiful place like Monmouth Park, uh, Gulfstream Park in Florida, Saratoga, a famous old race course, Keeneland in Kentucky, and instead of just standing there in the grandstand, you're walked up through a private elevator into your own private suite or clubhouse box. Uh, you walk down to the paddock and you see your horses uh, saddled and prepared for the race. You shake hands with the trainer and the jockey. You hear the call to the post. Um, you take trips and parties. You go to uh, private uh, events, sales, auctions at these great locations. And then, you know, most of all, obviously, there's just nothing like the winner's circle. No one who has a winning horse and walks down to the winner's circle with their family and friends and co-owners ever forgets something like that. You just can't forget it. Purple Silo turning for home, well clear. At the disco is second, Luna Park coming up the fence. And then comes Rough Road ahead and forth. Cuba trying to unwind the late rally, and on the far outside, it is flirtatious mile past the 16th pole. It is Hermo Sillo, all by himself, in the Charles Hess III. The co-ownership program ends when the last horse is retired to a good safe home when its racing career is over or when it's sold uh, and we've received money for it. At that point what we do is a uh, cash flow uh, to each one of the co-owners. You get a statement that shows all the purses, all the income, uh, all the expenses and a check for whatever your share is worth. Now how long each individual co-owner group continues really depends on the success of the horses. More typically, a group's going to be six months to a year. That's what we found to be kind of the normal life of these programs. And people kind of like that because they can be involved, they can be a co-owner, they can look at it and decide if it's for them and they want to be involved again, which the vast majority of people do. If you put the right work and skill and effort into this, you'll come up with great horses. And of course, the program, again, doesn't end until the last horse is sold or retired. So sometimes you're going to come up with a situation where you have a horse that's racing for years winning big races and making a lot of money and the program will continue for years on end. But of course that's a problem everyone would love to have. There are many ways to own thoroughbreds uh, and a lot of people are e eager to do business with you in this industry, in any business. What we believe is that an educated consumer is really the best customer anyone can have. We want anyone who's interested in this game to ask plenty of questions, to thoroughly check industry references, to compare your options. Our management team has had decades of hands-on experience. We've won hundreds of races all over the country, major stakes like the California Derby with horses that we purchased for very modest prices. Uh, we're hands-on people, uh, we treat it as a business and we're passionate about it. Our record speaks for itself, but I really think the best way to learn more about Kenwood is to talk with our co-owners. Kenwood's uh, philosophy seems to be that education uh, for the owners, they have a great deal of their own invested, not just monetarily, but they also want the horses, if they are going to be retired, to find a good home for them. I enjoy the philosophy. Uh, I've been around the racehorse business since I was a little kid. My family was in it. I've always wanted to own racehorses, but it's very expensive to own a single horse and train them. The taste of racing makes it much easier to get in for a small amount of money and have the thrill of racing and maybe you know, make a lot of money. We have a group of two-year-olds that if one of them stands out, we can make a lot of money. I always wanted to be, become an owner and it was a dream come true for me when I finally did. I mean, you know, I, I mean, I, I'm not a wealthy person and I think that this gives me a chance to uh, experience things that wealthy people are experience. We've had, we had tremendous fun, tremendous fun. This replaced some of our trips to Atlantic City, <laughs> the investment. And you know, we just hope we come out even, win a couple of dollars, lose a couple of dollars, but we never got into this for the money. It was all about the experience. 
Uh, and it was just totally different for us. This is so far into what we, we've ever done in our lives. And it, it was also great to share it with our family. I write to my, my grandkids and we tell them the name of the horses and we make up our stories about how they ran and uh, what happened. So it's been a lot of fun for the entire family. It hasn't just been me and Anita. You know, we've more or less got everybody involved in it. It has been a fantastic experience to be with Kenwin. You're in with a group, and especially who the managing partner, managing director of this particular company, is so caring, wants you to get involved, wants you to be at every race, wants to explain every little part of every race to you. Um, you feel as though you're not really just a partner, you feel as though you're part of a family. It's a group, and it's a really nice group. Thoroughbred racing is a great experience. We love meeting new people. We love talking to people about the business. So the next time you're out at the races or you're at Monmouth Park, look for someone on the Kenwood team. Come by and say hello. We're always here to talk and we're always here to answer questions about the program.